Hey! Angular version 19, coming out in November, will introduce a new experimental signal primitive, linked signal. This video is a first look at linked signal, including its purpose and possible use cases. Angular's computed signals are great for defining a signal that depends on other signals. If you are new to signals, find out more about computed signals in my video, Angular Signals, What, Why, and How. To understand the purpose of linked signal, let's look at a simple example. We want to define a product's total cost, which depends on the product, product price, and quantity. First, I'll export an interface for a minimum product with a name and price. Then define a selected product signal of product or null. This signal is initially null until the user selects a product. The price is a computed signal. Whenever the selected product changes, this signal resets the price to the price of that product. If the user hasn't yet selected a product, the selected product signal is null and the price is zero. We set the quantity signal to one, assuming that if the user selected a product, they probably want at least one, and add a method to change the quantity based on a user action. For this basic example, we won't build the UI to call this method, but you get the idea. Lastly, we declare total as a computed signal and set it to the value in the quantity signal times the value in the price signal. If either the quantity or the price changes, the total automatically recalculates. Nice! Notice that the quantity signal is a writable signal. We can change the quantity based on user selection. But the price and total computed signals are of type signal, which is read-only. That makes sense because we want the price to come from the selected product, and the total should always be calculated from the quantity and price. But our implementation of the quantity isn't quite right. If the user selects a different product, we need to reset the quantity back to 1. But if we modify the quantity signal to a computed, it's then read-only, and we can't change it. So what do we do? That's the purpose of the new link signal. Think of a link signal as a writable signal that can react to changes in a source signal and reset based on a computation. Let's add link signal to our example. But note that this code won't compile. As of this recording, link signal is not available in a preview build, so this syntax is based on discussions and could change before release but the concepts will remain the same. Let's set quantity equals linked signal. And we see an error here because linked signal does not yet exist. The linked signal will have several overloads. We'll use the one that takes an object. First, we define the source property. The source identifies the signal that is linked to this signal. We want the quantity signal to change when the selected product changes, so select product is our linked source property. Next, we define a computation. The computation is a function we want to execute when the source signal changes. In our case, we want the quantity to reset to 1 when the selected product changes, so our arrow function simply returns 1. The resulting signal is a writable signal, so we can still set it based on the user selection. Excellent! Use a linked signal anytime you want a writable signal to reset based on a linked signal. Could linked signal work with HTTP? Again, we can't try this out just yet, but we may be able to use linked signal to create a writable signal from an HTTP request. Something like this. We use HTTP GET to retrieve our product data. The two signal automatically subscribes and unsubscribes and emits the returned data into a read-only signal. We use link signal to create a writable signal from the result. Here, the HTTP result is the linked source, and we don't specify a computation. By using link signal, products is a writable signal that we can update and post back to the server. Nice! 
Now we just need to wait for Link Signal to make it into a preview build so we can try it out. So, a Link Signal is a writable signal that can react to changes in a source signal and reset based on a computation. This feature will be experimental in Angular version 19, which comes out in November. Watch for more information about this feature, including more use cases, when it's included in a preview build. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe!